Ladies and gentlemen, this is an international catchweight contest consisting of six five-minute rounds. One fall, one submission, or a knockout to decide the winner. Between on my left and in the red corner from Peckham, Steve Gray. His opponents on my right and in the blue corner, the welterweight champion of the West Indies, Clive Myers. And ladies and gentlemen, your referee, the international third man, Max Ball. The first round. Hello again, Grapple fans. Good afternoon to you and welcome to the Pavilion. Hamill Hampstead for another freestyle wrestling session and it starts this afternoon with a catchweight bout between Clive Myers of Jamaica at 11 stone 7 the uh, welterweight champion of the West Indies incidentally in the very sharp boots there, shiny boots his opponent, a lightweight at 10 stone 7 from Peckham, South East London Steve Gray so a catchweight bout and Steve Gray, as so often we see him, taking on somebody in the weight above his own bracket. Let's see how he makes out today. Max Ward, that uh, Birmingham referee there. Max Ward in charge of this one. One fall decides this six-round contest. So the first fall really matters here, and they're going to make sure they make no early mistakes if they can possibly avoid it. Counter by Gray. I don't know if you can keep that up against the arm wrestling champion of the world of the 15 stone, which is uh, Clive Myers on the right there. The Jamaica flag on his trunks there, for part of it. Yes, Gray. The old George Kidd trick that I'm sure he was taught by Kidd or got it from George Kidd. And roll up into a ball and no limbs to be taken. So all uh, Myers can really do is lift or step back and be open to a counter, and there is the counter into a back. And you can tell that the crowd here at the Pavilion Hamel Hempstead are all for the lighter man as usual. first attack without starting from an escape. Took him a wee bit too far. It's just a couple of minutes to go in this first round of six. Cross buttock, ground position. Gray, nicely headlocked to the side there. But with uh, Meyer's agility, he gets around the feet, under the neck, falls his man back. A bit near the ropes, but clear at the moment. Don't think he can get much from it. He doesn't either, he's not even trying. He's just trying to hold him there to see what happens, give himself time to think. <laughs> Finally had to come. Myers going for the left hand, single finger to lock. Gray agreeing to both. 
slips over, still from the envelope, and caught his hand of it. One minute to go. Romaya well, seemed to walk into that backhammer. Let's see the reason for it. That's the reason for it. Yes, the full beautiful cartwheel out of that time. Stomach throw. We have developed into a monkey climb there beautifully up. And there's the come the fast whips that we associate with Clive Myers. Just about 12 seconds left in this first round of six. On the bell. Okay. And let's take a close up look at Clive Myers. Clive Myers of Jamaica, 11 stone 7. As I said earlier, the West Indies welterweight champion, the world arm wrestling champion under 15 stone, which he got, uh, I think, also on television from Yorkshire's, Yorkshire Television's uh, indoor league. And what a strong up around this man's got. Five miles. Of Seconds away. Jamaica. Round two. Round two, and no score, of course, because this preliminary contest here at the Pavilion <laughs> Hamel Hampstead. There's a catch weight bout between Clive Myers at 11.7 and Steve Gray at 10.7. Just one stone in it, lightweight taking on a welterweight. Referee Max Ward in charge. left leg. Didn't want to keep it. Toe and ankle. Gray. Height. That man could uh, high kick. Quite comfortable with his yes, took him at the back of him. Beautiful. Perfectly legal in stop attack. Real beauty. <laughs> Great, tempting a smile there, but that really worried him. Side head up, nice. Starting to use those muscles now. Press Gray thrown off right over the referee. Oh, the power in those arms. And Myers coming down for double leg Nelson now. Only a count of two. Leg shot gets him up. That's a couple of lovely moves by both men there, and you can hear what the crowd here at Hamlet Hempstead think about that. For the rest of on that backhammer, the double wrist lock position. Myers. Doesn't want it anymore, goes for the opposite arm lever, takes his man over for cross press position. Gray almost making a bridge out of it. <laughs> and he's trying to return to his original attack, which was the backhammer. Gray right hand, fairly far, nice. left hand rather, fairly far up the, between the shoulder blades. Uncomfortable. A couple of minutes to go in this second round. And remember, just one fall decides this bout. Quite a wrench on the shoulder as well as the hand. Nice to turn. Oh, yes, very quick. Dropped it from the ground. 
Gray waiting, but Myers knows better than to get up any quicker than he did there. But counting his time. He knew Gray was behind him, ready to attack. Double interlock. Now Myers must win all these, surely, with his power. Double arm now, Myers. 